Welcome to Red V TV, supported by Chapel House Cars for the 2024 season. And we are here for a very, very short special episode just to give comment on the breaking news, Kevin. Yes, and what breaking news it is. Mark Percival has extended his deal at the club until the end of the 2026 season. It's just been announced um, on the eve of the new campaign. Um, what a boost that gives us, Kevin. It certainly does. Um, it, it seems a long time ago since 2013 and him making his debut against Leeds. Um, but I think, as we said in his uh, in his preview, our best team contains Mark Percival. Um, so for him to sign on for another two years, I, I think that's a very, very shrewd move by the club. Yeah, we don't have to reflect too much on what he's going to bring us this season because we've got his uh, player preview that we've done a couple of days ago. Um, but in terms of our squad makeup, we've we've spoke about not wanting too many of our players retiring, leaving at the same time. Just to get him, you've got him till at least the end of twenty twenty six. He's only twenty nine at the moment. You potentially you could, if he's going well at that point, give him another year or two on top of that. Yeah, exactly. I say I actually had to check how old he was, uh, just make sure that he was only twenty nine because it feels like he's been around for for ages, doesn't it? Um, but uh, you're right; it takes him up to being thirty two. You need that experience in your squad. You need to balance your experience with your younger players coming through, with the overseas stars coming over, and as a, a lad who's come through the system. Um, yeah, it, it's just one of those those right decisions from the club. Yeah, uh, as he says there, he'd been at the club since he was 14, couldn't think of anywhere else he'd rather be. And at this moment in time, Kevin, there's nowhere else we'd rather have him than at the club. Yeah, exactly. And I think when he's fit and at his best, he's up there when you're talking about the best centres in the league, isn't he? Um, when you're talking about the likes of, say, Harry Newman or you're talking about the likes of Wiggins, Toby King, I'm still to see from Warrington's, but uh, Mark Percival is definitely up there in that category. Um, I was also surprised to see that he scored over a 1,000 points for Saints. Yeah, that's with the goal kicking included. But, yeah, as you say, when, when he was fully fit last season, I think he played against Salford, he had Tim Lafay in his back pocket. And Tim Lafay is someone... Many of us have suggested wouldn't be a bad signing for the club. Uh, Mark Percival, for me, is still a level above. Um, and obviously, just as we were we were saying the other day about players being hurt by not winning it all last season, uh, everyone's raring to go when he's looking forward to getting out there. Feels like he's still got a lot to give and he's going to give everything until he can't walk, um, which will probably be the end result. And, and you know just how hard he works. Yeah, he, he puts his body on the line all the time, doesn't he? Um, he, he's one of them with no self-preservation and it's all for the good of the team. Um, he, he's, he's part of that leadership group, I'd say, as well now. One of the older players, one of the more experienced players in the squad. Right, Kev, that is us done and dusted. The, the, dog, the dog is telling me it's time to go and let's get <laughs> watching some Super League rugby. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe. <laughs> I will catch you for another episode of Red BTV tomorrow. Catch you soon.